Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out this new all-in-one flight controller plus 4-in-1 ESC from HGLRC. It's the F4 Zeus and it's a 20 by 20 uh, mounting size board but it's obviously here a little bit bigger than 20 by 20 and it's, it packs in uh, F4 uh, flight controller plus Betaflight OSD plus black box and a 15 amp 4-in-1 BLL S ESC all into a single board. And obviously this is probably not going to fit into a, a certain really tight frames that uh, because obviously things are kind of over, overhanging here. But it should probably fit most frames and I'll, I'll pull a few frames out here. We'll see how the fit looks again. We'll compare this to some of the other flight controllers out there. So you got your battery leads here on the bottom. You got your uh, solder points for your video transmitter here. Um, plus, minus, and, and video. Your motor uh, leads are going to be on the sides here. You got motor one. Two, three, and four. So the board orientation is this way with a little arrow. That's the that's the front, and then you have all of your major solder connections here on the bottom. You've got your UART connections. You got your camera connections, uh, receiver, uh, 3.3 volt and DSM for your spectrum uh, satellites. You get PPM and S bus, and uh, then you also obviously five volts out for the receiver here. And since this is, is an F4, if you're using a uh, FlySky iBus receiver, you should use one of the other UARTs. That is not hardware inverted because I'm pretty sure that the standard SBUS uh, pad here is going to be hardware inverted because it's, it's an F4 board. So we got a Betaflight OSD chip here. We got a black box uh, data chip there. I think it's 60 megabytes of flash data. We have the uh, MPU 6000 gyro. So it's a pretty good gyro and then on the bottom we have a 5 volt regulator it goes to 3 amps um, the Ford one AC is 15 amps and it'll burst up to 25 amps and we have this micro connector here they include a cable for that connector and the outputs for that connector are labeled on this card here and I'm not sure if it'll come out on the camera, but things like RSSI, LED, and obviously five volts in ground for those. These are these are probably the uh, things that are most or least likely to be used. I almost never use LED or RSSI, but if you want to use those, they are, they are available via uh, this breakout cable. And then you get a bag with some. Uh, these are M2 standoffs nuts. And then they include a micro, or they include this capacitor. It's 25 volts, and uh, I think it's 170 microfarads, or 470 microfarads. Sorry. So, um, if you have video noise or whatever, they should probably be using this on the battery leads. So it's kind of nice that they provide that as well. Okay, we got a few measurements here. We'll get the weight first. 6.6 .6 grams. And just for comparison, here's an F4 nano board, just a flight controller only, 3.8 grams. And as I mentioned, the uh, whole mounting pattern is 20 by 20, but we'll get some measurements of the board. So it, that's 32.2 in this direction, 36.4 in this direction, and about 5.4 in the height direction. And here is what it looks like next to a standard 20 by 20 flight controller. Okay, so here's an example of a frame that this board won't fit. This is the Atmospheric Adventures uh, Ares Mini 2 inch frame. You can see that it's a 20 by 20 mounting. And it, if you don't use the canopy, uh, it, it'll fit, but obviously it doesn't look very good. And then with the canopy here, you can see that it overhangs and it won't fit underneath this canopy, so it won't fit this frame. Okay, here's another frame. This is actually uh, the Leader 120 frame, or the FD120 frame, if you just want to get the frame by itself. And uh, you can see I have it mounted here. It does fit underneath the, uh, I guess, these side plates here. And, and even though there's a little bit of overhang, there's still, uh, it's still pretty much within the bounds of the frame itself. You can see here what it looks like from the bottom. So for some larger frames like this two and a half inch one, if you want a really low profile, obviously it's just going to be a single board and then you just need your receiver 
NVIDIA transmitter, uh, it'll fit this kind of frame here. So I, I imagine it'll fit quite a few frames out there, but you'll you'll need to you know obviously take the measurements into account and see which ones will fit and which ones won't. So if you guys are looking for a single board with a F4 flight controller and 4-in-1 ESC, I believe this is the only one on the market currently. I think there's going to be more coming out. Um, but obviously miniaturization is the trend and for certain builds that are tight, uh, this might be a good way to go. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check this product out. Let me know if you have any suggestions on a frame I should use or a project I should put this into. I haven't really haven't thought about that yet. Something that's going to be like you know, that's going to need a low profile board like this would be interesting. So if you have any suggestions on that, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.